Burr is back. I wanted to be funny. I wanted to be a funny, laughing, invited to the party person. I wanted to be a little flirty, maybe. A little naughty, a little fast, mysterious chick. I wanted to be fun, telling wild, crazy stories, jumping in the pool naked at midnight, wearing that sexy push-up bra, driving the convertible fast down the highway in a rainstorm. I wanted to be delicious and adorable and not too available, not too talkative. I would have settled for a little dry even, or sarcastic. Dry people get invited to the party. Dry nihilists who are permanently unhappy, permanently in despair, bleak. They are in their very expensive, torn, shredded black clothing, surrounded by groups of beautiful people with their fabulous, torn, shredded haircuts that look, that look like they just got that they just survived something awful. You know, that private jet ride where they ran out of Merlot. But I'm not dry. I'm not adorable. And I'm not funny. I am angry. Fucking angry. I'm raging. I did not get invited to parties. Well, not anymore. I did at the beginning. I had a certain charm, a certain flair. People mistook it for funny until they discovered that I was the person who ruins the party, interrupts the pleasure, brings in the rest of the world like a brutal Chicago winter wind. I'm the person who, for some reason, has to see it, say it, and make everyone else aware. I'm the one who responds to the casual, what's up, with, well, I just got back from Afghanistan, downtown Kandahar, where the Taliban is back, where the Taliban actually never left but they are now blatantly back because the U.S. supported the wicked jihads and put them in office. The jihads who raped and pillaged and murdered and instead of being brought to justice were brought to power by the U.S. and now there's, no, there's so much corruption and so much violence that the Taliban looks good. <laughs> I'm that person who doesn't stop there, who has to go on because being at the party makes me even angrier. I somehow forgot until that moment that the rest of the world went on, went to the party. They were laughing, drinking, flirting, enjoying. They weren't undone or depressed by the whack things going on. No. The person asking me what's up didn't really expect an answer. Didn't even particularly want an answer. Was just asking the question, a stupid party question, because that's what people do at parties. They don't listen. They don't give a shit. No. That's why they're at the party. That's why their whole life is a fucking party. Their whole life is directed toward getting invited to the party, dressing for the party, getting drunk or laid or into the party mood. And there I am ruining everything. What's up? What's fucking up? Don't you read the news? The Amish girls shot down in the school because they were there? Because they were girls? Or the girls in the refugee camps in Darfur going to get grass for their donkeys or wood for their fire who get grabbed, who get raped and raped and can't find their way back. But let's protect the rapists, okay? Let's defend them like the cleric in Australia said. They are being given too hard a time. A terrible sentence when it's really the woman's fault. She brought it on herself. They brought it on themselves by not wearing a headscarf. They were open meat. If she had just stayed in her home, in her hijab, there wouldn't have been a problem. The cleric saying this in 2006, if they had just stayed home, <laughs> if I had just stayed home, hadn't gone out, hadn't opened my mouth. I wasn't even invited to this party. A friend was invited and took me because she couldn't find anybody else. It wasn't a direct invitation, you know, a primary invitation from the source to me. And I am ruining the party embarrassing my friend, I shouldn't have gone out of the house. There were too many bad things happening. Maybe it was hearing the woman at the party with the big stuff thing around her neck say, isn't it fabulous? Fur is back. Fur is back. Isn't it fabulous? Mutilation is back. Murder is back. Mink is back. Mink always makes me think about women. Not just that women wear minks, but that there's something about how women are raised to serve, raised for slaughter. Something about being so beautiful, 
so soft and warm that people have to wear you, have to wrap you around their neck or rape you from behind or shoot you in the head or mangle or beat or starve you? Fur is back. Fur is back. Isn't it fabulous? Fur is back. So, it turns out, it is rape. Rape is back. The Taliban is back. OJ is back. Fur is back. Back, back, back. But when did any of this go away? It never went away. It just gets ignored and buried and accepted by the people at the parties, by the people who cannot stop partying, who think that life is just one big party, which it is for them because they have everything, because they are wealthy and privileged and perfect and partying, partying. Stop it. Stop it. Please, please stop. Women are dying. Women have their labia ripped off in the Congo. Their faces melted off in Pakistan. They are bought as children in Atlanta. Stop, please. Please, doesn't it matter to you? Don't their lives matter? I am screaming. I am on the floor, on the wall-to-wall -wall plush carpet near the buffet table with its goat cheese quesadillas and grilled shrimp and chocolate martinis. I am on the floor screaming, stop it, stop it, stop. Can't you just stop for one moment? Stop your lives. Stop your quest for pleasure. Stop your partying. A crowd is now looking at me. A crowd of fabulous partygoers who won't look directly at me because they're scared they might catch what I have. <laughs> Fabulous party goers going on as I'm being handcuffed, dragged, and removed from the party. I don't move, I can't move. I lie there on the street against the building and I open my eyes. I'm looking up, straight up. I don't remember seeing stars before in the city. There are so many of them and they're particularly sparkly. I don't know if they're even real. They are so far away and they are right next to me. And I'm lying there and my eyes are open. I am not funny and my friend's silk shirt is torn, but I can see what is in front of me. I can see the stars.